struggling with outdated performance reviews that don't do justice to your team's hard work? Are inefficient, infrequent, and subjective reviews leaving your HR team feeling overwhelmed and lost? Imagine a performance review system that's structured, objective, and supportive. That's great HR's PMS reviews. It replaces tedious, error-prone methods with a streamlined, transparent process. With great HR PMS reviews, HR admins can tailor every aspect of the review process. Let's see how. From the great HR admin portal, navigate to performance management, reviews. To create a review cycle, click create cycle. Select the create a new cycle option. Enter cycle name. Select the performance period. Write a short description. Here, you can upload the self-assessment guidelines for employees and also for the assessor. Click Next. Select the employees you want to add to the review cycle or create a new employee filter. Then select the date of joining. Choose either until to include all employees up to that selected date or from and to choose a date range. Click Next. Here you can assign assessors for different assessment levels and also define their roles, actions, and weightage. By default, three levels of assessors are set. Self-assessors role and actions are set by default as employee and can rate and comment but you can choose to add the desired weightage. For assessor 1, select role, actions, and weightage for your requirements. Add the desired number of assessors as per your company policy by clicking here. These assessors can rate and comment or can override. The override option overrides the ratings and comments of the previous assessor. For the final assessor, you can select a desired role. But the action by default is selected as can approve and publish. Also, you cannot add weightage to the final assessor. Just ensure weightage values of other assessors add up to a total of 100. Now set timelines for the assessors to review the cycle. From here, select the date range for the employee to complete the assessment. Similarly, select the date range for other assessors and also the final assessor. Assessors receive email notifications as reminders informing them about the opening of the assessment window and also alerting them about the closing date of the assessment window. If an assessor completes the assessment before the set time then the assessment window for the next level of assessor activates before the set time. Click Next to define the final evaluation ratings. A rating scale can be selected from 1 to 5 or 1 to 10. Select the desired final rating options. Also, describe the values for the scale. The next step is to create performance categories to rate the employees. Click here to edit a category name. Select the type of rating scale. Add a question here. And click here to add more questions. Select rating to allow only ratings and comments for specific questions. By default, the system selects the comment checkbox. You can deselect it if you do not want comments for specific questions. Add the weightage to the category. You can skip this step but if you add weightage to ensure it sums to 100, you can also choose to allow only ratings for specific questions by selecting rating. Add the values to the question to ensure the total weightage is 100. Please note you can calculate weightage only for the categories or questions for which ratings are selected. To add more categories, click here and follow the same steps. Click Next. The last step is to define performance document controls which allows you to define the content visible to the assessors. Self-assessor can view the ratings and comments which is selected by default. For Assessor 1, select one of the options. Final Assessor, by default, has the not applicable option selected by the system. Click Next to review the summary of the configured review cycle. Click here to edit the details. Then save it. Click Confirm. The review cycle will move to the Draft tab. If the cycle is in the draft stage, you can edit or delete the cycle by clicking the settings and delete icons once the cycle gets activated, you cannot make changes. Now you must activate the created cycle. From the Draft tab, select the created cycle. Click Activate. Click Confirm. You can also click Clone an existing cycle if you want to copy 
or duplicate the details of an existing cycle. We have a few actions that are done to manage a review cycle such as pause, resume, cancel, notify the assessors to perform assessments, notify or pause employees' review cycles, and also reopen them. All these actions are done from the control panel. Let's get into the details of each of these actions. After configuring and activating the review cycle, next comes the part of managing the created review cycle. Start by selecting the review cycle and click View Details. The control panel in a review cycle allows you as admins to manage all the actions such as pause, resume, cancel, notify the assessors to perform assessments, notify or pause employees' review cycles, and also reopen them. Here you can view the number of employees that are added to this review cycle. The Notify button here sends email notifications to the employees, assessors, admins to perform the assessments. These cards show the assessments that are in progress and completed. Since this cycle is active, you can pause by clicking here. Enter the remarks and click Confirm. You cancel or resume the paused cycle by clicking the Cancel and Resume buttons. Then if you scroll down you will be able to perform the notify actions for the active review cycles of employees. Select the employees and click Notify, click Confirm. Similarly, select the employees and click Pause by adding a reason to pause the cycle as a reference. Scenarios may arise to reopen the employee's review cycle if an employee, assessor, or admin misses the assessment and the due date has passed, or if an employee or any other assessor wants to edit the assessment record. Under the Assessment Status section, select Employees. Click Reopen. Reset the due date. Enter Remarks. Click Confirm. The final action that is done in a review cycle after creation, activation, and assessment done by employees and other assessors is to review and publish it. Select the required review cycle and click View Details. Navigate to the My Tasks tab under the Pending tab and search for the employee whose assessment you want to review. Click Review to review all the ratings and comments given by the employees and assessors for each category. Click Next. You will see here the summary of final ratings which is calculated based on the weightage and the ratings given by the assessors. Click Approve and then Confirm. After submission, you need to publish the assessment as the final step. Navigate to the Control Panel tab. Under the Assessment Status section, you can also select all the employees to publish the assessment but the system will publish the assessment of employees whose assessment is reviewed. Search for the employee whose assessment you want to publish. Click Publish and then Confirm. Here you can view the remarks and the published date of the assessment record. The employee can view the published assessment record on their ESS portal. As an admin, you can review assessments submitted by assessors and finally publish it. That's all. Try performance review in Great HRPMS. Don't just take our word for it. Click the link to start your free trial and see the difference for yourself. Or contact our support team today to take the first step towards a more productive and engaged workforce.